Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. And today we're continuing our percent of a quantity. But this time we're working with a word problem. Let's take a look at this word problem. What we have here says a box contains 125 candles. Given that 4% of the candles are green, 60% of the candles are blue, and the rest are red, how many red candles are in the box? Wow, you're like, how do I break this down? Well, we can write it out the traditional way, where we have 64% of 125 equals what? And we can see the equation for that. And here we have 64 hundredths times 125 over 1. Now, that is figure outable. I mean, you can multiply this and divide it by 100, or I can do it in my head. 6 times 125 is 750, plus another 425, which is going to be 800. But since this is not just 6, it's 60. It's going to be 8,000 divided by 100, which is equal to 80. Boom, I'm done, right? Well, sometimes you have to break it down a little bit smaller chunks. Let's take a look at a different way. So here, let's figure out 4% of 125. How do you set up that problem? Well, here I have it as 4 one hundredths times 125 over 1. And now that's a little bit ma more manageable because I could say 4 times 125 is going to be 500 divided by 100. As shown here, we have 500 divided by 100. Let's just take those zeros away. 5 over 1, that's going to equal to 5 green candles. So we've, we know how many green candles there are. Now we're looking for the number of blue candles. Let's set that up the same way. This time we have 60% of 125. So we're going to have it the same way, 60 over 100 times 125 over 1. And again, that's a little daunting, but I think you can understand how we're doing this. I, I explained it before as well. So this is actually 6 tenths. That makes it a little bit easier. So 6 times 125. Well, we know what 4 times 125 is 500. And adding two more 125s is going to be 750, right? Okay. And we're dividing by, by 10. And that's going to equal to what? So, well, you're like, well, wait a minute. Let's take out these zeros. That's going to be equal to 75. Let's clean that up a little bit. Now we know that 60% of the candles are blue. That means that there's that's 75 of them. So what we need to do is we need it's going to be a subtraction problem because we're subtracting the number of green candles plus the number of blue candles from 125 to find out how many red candles there are in the box. So are we done yet? We have this number 45. Not necessarily. Typically with a word problem, you have to write out your answer. Here we go. There are 45 red candles in the box. And you know, and if I was you, I would also circle my answer so that the teacher knows exactly where to go. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.